Hi, my name is Jay Height. I'm a family law attorney specializing in the Anglo-Saxon market with offices throughout Israel. So a lot of people come to me and say, yeah, Mr. Height, we know that you always say that if you give large gifts to your children, you should make agreements. But, you know, why is it dangerous if you don't make an agreement? Can't we just trust our son-in-law or daughter-in-law? Well, the answer is during regular times, yes, you should absolutely trust them. But when it comes time for divorce, eh, it's not that I wouldn't say you don't trust them, but I would say if you haven't made things super clear and you make it super clear by an agreement, you might have problems. So I'm going to tell you about a case that I have in my office right now. Okay. Mom and dad gave the daughter a lot of money to buy a house, I bet a lot, like six or 700,000 shekels. So the house was bought in the daughter's and the daughter's husband's name, i.e. each of them have 50%. And there was no agreement made. No documents were signed. No lien was put up against the house and nothing saying that, hey, this isn't the gift, this is only a loan, et cetera. Well, two years later, husband gets caught, let's say with his pants down, who's having another relationship. Wife goes crazy, decides to end the marriage. And here's the thing, okay? Husband is getting half of the equity of the home, i.e. even though wife's parents gave the gift to buy the house, even though husband was the quote unquote the wrong person because he was not keeping his fiduciary duties by having an affair, with somebody else, even though all those things, husband is getting half of the equity of the house, which means half of the value of the gift that the parents intended to give their daughter. And had they done it properly, either alone in the event of divorce, it will totally go to our daughter. Well, then they would have been protected or rather their daughter would have been protected. But since they didn't, you know, it was tough luck and the husband got to a good attorney and we were able to get 50% of the asset. So this is why it is incredibly difficult dangerous if you do not have an agreement in place when you make a large gift to your children. Again, my name is Jay Height. I'm a family law attorney with offices throughout Israel, and you need help with a family law issue, then please call our office.